Okay, today we're going to look at the significance of the underhook. Really important in your wrestling, in your jiu-jitsu, um, standing in on the ground. So you, you, know, you really need to, uh, to look at what the underhook is for, first off. Okay? We're going to start by looking at it in a wrestling context. When I have him here, I'm tying up with him. I start off with inside control. So I've got his bicep in my left hand, and I've got his hand. I might have his shoulder, depending on what I'm setting him up for. But to get the underhook, I need to manipulate his head and his weight commitment. So I'm going to pull his head forward and to his left. And that brings his shoulder up. As the shoulder comes up, I'm going to string my underhook through and step in on it. And then I'm going to put my forehead right against his neck. It forces his head out of position. Okay. Now, we're not going to get real deep into all the implications of the underhook, but just to get there and show you, first of all, how to get there and how to use it in a couple of different ways. And then we're going to move along to other applications of it. So the, the purpose here is somewhat broad, is to look at the underhook and see where it comes into play in your wrestling and on the ground. So once I've got my underhook here, now what the underhook is good for is clearing this arm. He can't protect his right side. He can't protect his hip, his leg. He can't stop it from getting to his back. So underhooks can lead to, to duck unders, which lead to side or back bear hugs. Underhooks can give me that leg and get a snatch single by, by circling to draw it out. You know, square up in the as I circle to draw it out, I get my single because with my underhook, he could not protect that leg on that side. Underhooks can lead to bear hooks in the front and, and to lifting. So first off, just to see that once I get the underhook when I'm tying up with him, I have superior arm position. I might end up with a bear hug off of that. I might end up uh, with a duck under as I showed. I might end up with a throw by. I might be here to a bear hug and then throw by from which I can lift him or trip him. So I have a lot of good options from there. Once I get the underhook, he's in trouble and he needs to solve that problem. 